In this video, I want to talk about the upcoming Intel i7-12700 and 12700F processors. I will share the specs, release date, prices, as well as productivity and gaming performance compared to other CPUs that are available right now. Before that, a quick message from a sponsor. An expensive Windows 10 license can break your budget when building a new PC, but not if you buy it from cdkoffers.com for as cheap as $13. They are running a limited time sale throughout November. Simply use code IV20 at the checkout for a 30% discount. The key will be delivered instantly, you can copy, save it and activate your Windows 10 license right away. Buy yours now at the link in the description below. Let's start with the specs. i7-12700 and 12700F will have the same number of cores as their unlocked big brother i7-12700K. That is 12 cores and 20 threads consisting of 8 P cores and 4 E cores. The main differences between 12700K and non-K parts are lower TDP and core clock speeds. 12700 has a 65 watt TDP instead of 125 watts on 12700K. For the core clock speeds, 12700 has a 2.1 GHz base clock and 4.9 GHz boost, compared to a 3.6 GHz base and 5 GHz boost on 12700K. Also, both have 25 MB of cache. Bear in mind that most motherboard manufacturers do not follow the 65 Watt TDP specification outlined by Intel. So, in reality, i7-12700 and 12700F should feature TDP close to 125 watts, the same as 12700K. It means that the default out-of-the-box performance of all i7 CPUs will be very similar. This brings us to the productivity and gaming benchmarks. Let's start with productivity. In Geekbench 5 single-core test, i7-12700 is just 2.4% slower than 12700K. In the multi-core test, the gap is slightly wider. 12700 is 6% slower than 12700K. Unfortunately, it is the only benchmark that leaked so far. However, looking at the Geekbench results, it appears to be comparable to the data from previous Intel CPU generations. The performance difference between K and non-K CPUs is 2-5% to on average. So, I have put together the estimated i7-12700 results for the rest of the productivity and gaming benchmarks, just to give you a glimpse of what you should expect. As you can see, in terms of gaming, i7-12700 is on the same level as 12600K, 12700K and Ryzen 5600X and 5800X. If gaming is all you do, then it is not worth waiting for i7-12700 or 12700F. Just get a CPU that is already available to buy right now. However, if you are a budget-conscious content creator or power user, then it may be worth the wait. That brings us to the pricing. Discussing it, I want to use the current street price of the 12700K, which is $450 relative to the upcoming 12700 and 12700F. Looking at how Intel priced its previous generations of CPUs, we can estimate that i7-12700 price will be around $365 and i7-12700F will cost around $340. That is impressive considering its performance in productivity apps. What do you think? Would you still buy 12700K instead? Let me know in the comments. Now about the release date. Intel has not officially confirmed it yet, but according to leaks and rumors, we can expect these and other non-K CPUs to launch in a few months in early 2022, along with B660, H670 and H610 motherboards. Like this video if it was helpful, it was I, Vadim, until next time.